Tonight, we'll finally get to see the new controversial Michael Jackson documentary, Leaving Neverland. It focuses on two men, Wade Robson and James Safechuck, who, despite previously defending their childhood hero in court, now say they were sexually abused by the pop star. With me now is one of Michael Jackson's closest friends, Mark Lester. Mark, you've seen, you've <coughs> seen the documentary, like mm -hmm. I have. Yeah. What did you make of it? Well, um, I, first of all, I thought it was over long. Um, it seemed to repeat itself quite a lot. Um, it's quite boring uh, in many places. Um, made me feel quite sick. Did you feel watching it that there was this was anything to do with the person that you knew for decades? This is not the Michael Jackson that I knew for over 30 years. This is not the man that my children knew. Um, this is not the guy that I knew that they were talking about. So do you feel angry about it or just saddened or disappointed? I think I feel sad that this has uh, even come to light. I, I, I don't really know what the object of the exercise is here. I mean, it's a very sad and sensitive subject. Um, of child abuse is, is awful, but I, 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 I can't, I don't fathom, I can't fathom what, what good or what this is trying to achieve. You were, as you said, very, very close, very good friends. Nothing inappropriate ever happened to you. No. Did you ever see, Mark, anything that made you think something's not right here, alarm bells are going off? Absolutely not. I never saw or was party or, or even had the slightest notion that there was anything untoward with Michael. And my children were, you know, for, for maybe seven, eight years with Michael's children, playing together. I mean, I was godfather to his children, he was godfather to my children. It's it just, I never had any, nothing, nothing ever on. And you were really in the inner circle. As far as you're concerned, there is no truth at all in, in any of these allegations. Why do you think then that they're doing this? Why put I, yourself through that at, at the age of they're now in their late thirties? I don't know these guys. Um, I I haven't. I, I don't know. I, I I fail to understand what the purpose of, of of this is really. When you were at Neverland, there were young boys and get, you know children running around, and you you've said in the past that their behaviour sometimes was was bad. They were like oh, rats. Oh gosh, yes. Well, I remember when the Arviso children was a little um, cancer boy who Michael visited in the hospital a lot and then invited him to the ranch. And then in the end, there was about a half a dozen or a dozen of these sort of hooligans running around Neverland, trashing the place. Gosh, do you think he was taken advantage of then? Oh, absolutely. Did you see that quite a lot, that people would do that? I didn't see it quite a lot, but you know, certainly with that family, there was, um, he was, they, took advantage to the nth degree uh, and, and they, they, they treated Neverland and they, they abominably, I mean, they, they was stole, um, we had a, a wine cellar that he had locked away so yeah. they were breaking in and stealing booze and, and they were, had golf carts that went around the property and they would race these things and they would roll them over down hills and things. It was, it was just like, you know, just have some respect. When you were his friend, you were probably one of the most, if you like, normal, if we can use that <laughs> word, but you know, sort of down to earth mm. people and your children as well. Um, and he, he didn't have much contact with his family at that time. Was he quite a lonely person? I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a hand <clears> on what he was actually sure. like as a person, because of course we don't know. Sure. Think yeah, we I know, it's very, don't. exactly, it's very difficult to kind of explain, but anybody who ever met Michael would, 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 would know. And he was a very shy, very, I don't know whether he was lonely, but he was very, he kept himself to himself. He was very polite to everybody around him, very softly spoken. Well, we met in, I think we were in our late teens. Michael came to London with, I think he was with the Jacks, I think they were called the Jacksons then, yeah. or the Jackson Five. Yeah, yeah. And I got a call from his manager. I was living uh, in London and um, Michael wanted to meet me, which his manager said, so, yeah. okay, fine. So um, anyway, uh, I went along, I took my sister with me, who was a big fan. Right. I wasn't particularly a fan, maybe music's okay. And uh, so we turn up at this hotel and he has the entire floor of the hotel. It's like, wow, this is pop star yeah. material, you know, superstar. 
Anyway, so we're led through all the security and everything, and I'm like, well, there's the door. So I'm like, mm. knock, knock. And I'm thinking, well, what's going to be on the other side of the door? A guy in a space suit or, you know, hovering or so, doing something weird. Anyway, so I opened the door, and this Mike was just looking down. He had a pair of jeans and a sweatshirt on and a pair of trainers. And he goes, oh, hey, Mark, how are you? Come in, give him a big hug. And my sister's like, oh, I think I'm jaw was like, hey. And, and you just hit it off? You just hit it off? Yeah, yeah. We, we went in for, I thought it was like 10 minute, you know, chat. Yeah. We, we, we left like eight o'clock in the evening. Gosh. And it's remarkable because when he died, the contact was cut off. The family just kind of, mm. I guess that was it. Um, which seems a shame because, you know, your children did spend a lot of time there. Mm. That, and, and also I'm thinking more about Michael Jackson's children because yes. they live a very bizarre life. We think we, we're not there, but mm. from what we see and what we read, and of course there's all these rumours that you might be Paris's dad. We don't, you know, there's all of that. You you don't know, and you you don't want to find out. But the thing is, your children could have helped those kids. I think a lot. Absolutely, give and, them a bit and, of normality. Yeah, I mean they were together for oh, seven, eight years, as playing as as like they were cousins, I guess. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, my my daughter Harriet often asked me whether she can reconnect with Paris, mm. and because they were very okay. Harriet's a little bit older, mm. but they you know they used to sit down and watch movies together. They used mm. to draw together. They used to have water balloon <laughs> fights together. But especially if I mean we don't know because we don't know. But it, you know especially if they were related by blood, it would be silly for them not to be together. Do you know what I mean? It, it would Regardless be of that, it was just. You know, I think Harriet, my daughter, is is a very bright girl. She's at Oxford doing a PhD at the moment. So she's not a flaky kid mm. who's like, eh, starstruck. She's going to be a doctor in a year's time. And, um, you know, she said she would very much like to reach out and, mm. and, and see Paris again and just, just go, I don't know, go to the movies. Go, just go, just things. go, I don't know. Ordinary Go things. for a walk. Yeah, no, I Anything. can understand that. This documentary, it's on tonight in the UK and tomorrow night as well. Um, do you think there'll be a long-standing damage to Michael Jackson? Do you think this, because a lot of people are saying, I won't listen to his music again. You know, they're, they're saying that some radio stations are going to ban his music and all of that. We don't know whether that's true or not. But do you think ultimately this will change anything? I don't. I think this is just a flash in the pan, like a ripple that will go, it's sensationalist. And I can imagine in three, Four weeks time mm. it'll be old old news and it'll just be gone and forgotten and these boys i mean what if they were sitting here now what would you want to say to them the ones that have made the allegations i would feel very very uncomfortable would you i would yeah. feel kind of i it would make my flesh crawl to be honest with you you wouldn't want to speak to them no mm. so your memories i mean if i could sum up your memories of michael jackson when you think of him can you think of him as, as your friend and, and block out all of these other allegations that there have been over no, no, Lorraine, because I watched that documentary. Uh, I was asked to watch it for you, yes. for, for, for yes, here. Indeed. And I was trying to watch it with a very open mind. And nothing in my mind yes. has changed about Michael. He's a true loyal friend in you. I think it's very sad that you and your family, you know, the, for reasons of their own that the Jacksons don't, you're, you're not part of their lives and part of his children's lives. It seems well, a terrible shame. Who knows? Some... Yeah.